The countdown has already started for the Illinois primary and voting is already underway, but today is Super Tuesday. Not for us, rest of the country. Biggest day of the 2024 primaries. Yeah, that is because it is the greatest number of states holding primary elections or caucuses. 16 to be exact. Over a third of all the delegates for both Republicans and Democrats are on the line at stake today. Joining us now is our friend, Dr. Nick, Nick Kachirubis, professor and chair of public administration at DePaul University. Doc, thanks for joining us this morning. You're welcome, Brad. I mean, it sounds trite and hackneyed, a lot going on here, but there actually is a lot going on here. So, you know, Trump is now on the ballot, so says the Supreme Court. Yesterday, Democrats threatening to no vote the sitting president, Biden, because of his stance on the war in Gaza. Um, is this a bigger day for Democrats or Republicans? Uh, it's a, a good, a big day for both parties. Uh, you've got uh, 13 states on the ballot with uh, a thousand or so delegates um, and uh, Trump uh, wants to win uh, uh, over overwhelmingly in those states and Biden wants to carry those states as well. Okay, so let's go back to your Trump win overwhelmingly. Do or die for Nikki Haley, so say the headlines, contending Mr. Trump. Good alternative, many think, but really hasn't gotten too much traction. Some say she might be hanging in to play the long game, maybe running in 2028, maybe running in 2032. Heck, how old these guys are, she may be running in 3023. Mm -hmm. uh, and she's also, you know, running, if Trump is convicted, you know, who knows how it plays out. What is her play here, do you think? I think her play is try to, to try to get 20 to 25 percent in some of those key states. I think she stays in the race because a lot of Republican voters don't like Trump. I think she goes to the convention in hopes that Trump gets uh, gets uh, convicted on one of these uh, trials. Uh, and then she becomes the presumptive nominee with some delegates at the convention. All right, Biden now, let's go to him. New poll says 60 percent of Americans don't think he's mentally fit, age, and not competent to be president. That is a remarkable number. Uh, can you talk on that? Uh, well, yeah, um, I think that certainly he's had some mishaps, but so has Trump. Uh, and remember, before these two presidents, Ronald Reagan was the oldest president uh, and he had issues both in 1980 when he ran first time and in 1984. And uh, he won overwhelmingly in the, both those races. Yeah, luckily, I mean, uh, you know, made it through, but probably suffering Alzheimer's at some point in time uh, in the later stages mm -hmm. of his presidency. Uh, OK, last question to you. It's an open ended one. What's what's the headline we're watching for today? What's tomorrow's headline? I think uh, Trump wins overwhelmingly and Biden wins uh, well, uh, but uh, he has a large portion of uncommitted delegates. Does Haley get the 20 percent, you said? Uh, that's what I think the target would be. Uh, I think that's going to be a stretch for her, but uh, it's possible. OK, Dr. Nick Ketcherobis. Thank you, sir. Professor and Chair of Public Administration at DePaul University, your insight is always welcome here, and we appreciate it. It's right down the middle, straight shooting. Thank you, sir. CBS News will have complete coverage on Super Tuesday. You can watch the results live at 9 o'clock, hour-long special on CBS News. We will also have a live report from Skylar Henry in our next half hour from Virginia. Plus, you can find the latest on the CBS News at 10 and on our website, cbschicago.com.